Um, one of the big concerns we have, obviously, when we consider major surgery is death. And we're really fortunate that the mortality rate for the mini gastric bypass is so low. Uh, you might be interested, a recent publication from uh, Dr. Maher at the Division of General Surgery at Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond, Virginia, reported their results with gastric bypass. And I think it's kind of a sobering comparison to look at their reported death rate. They were actually talking about Medicare patients in which the death rate was quite high. So that what they reported was that the mortality at 30 days was significantly higher in Medicare patients than non-Medicare patients. In the Medicare patients, the reported 30-day mortality rate was 2.5%. Okay, so that means within 30 days, if you are a Medicare patient at the Medical College of Virginia, the reported death rate for a Roux and Y gastric bypass was two, or a little over two, 2.5 for every 100 patients that they operated on, or one person dying out of every 50 cases. That's just in the first 30 days. There may have been other deaths after 30 days. Now that was in what they felt was their high risk group, the Medicare patients. But in their patients who weren't Medicare patients, they reported a 0.8% death rate. Now, if you remember your kind of high school math, if we round that off, it's not quite 1%. But if it were 1%, that would be one death out of every 100 patients within 30 days. If we were to have that kind of death rate out of 5,000 patients, we would have 50 or more patients that have died within 30 days. So certainly um, there are other issues as far as which patients they select, but again, it kind of is a reminder, uh, we do feel really happy with our results. Um, we are um, you know, focused on patient quality and, and outcomes. And I think it's, um, you know, it's honorable that this group you know, published their results. I do think that um, that kind of mortality rate certainly gives me pause as to whether or not I would personally want to choose that particular type of surgery. And I think these are excellent surgeons. I think that my own bias is that the Roux and Y gastric bypass is just more complex, and they may be choosing more difficult patients, and that combination leads to a, a mortality rate that, at least in my estimation, seems pretty high.